Another free great card from EA? Intriguing. So after EA dropped their yearly holiday pack, which gave us a free choice of 89 overall cards, they came back with another banger. In the 89 flashback, Martin Natchez commemorating his Great World Junior run. And like I said, it's free. So here is that flashback Martin Natchez, the 89 overall from the NHL 22's Nations of Hockey event. At 6'2", 189, he's got playmaking forward as well as shooting boost and playmaking boost. At 95 speed, 95 acceleration, his agility can get up to 96. You can actually hit 98 agility with playmaking boost activated. His shot is in the high 80s, low 90s. Shooting boost, which is what I would recommend you put on him, increases that wrist shot just a little bit more. His hand stats are all fantastic in the 90s. And then body checking down to 80, defensive awareness at 85, and stick checking at 85 to be more in line with what he was in his World Junior career. His face-off rating at 87 is interesting as well because that's more than enough to be half-decent at the face-offs. Gold wheels, silver unstoppable force, and silver elite edges might be the trifecta of meta abilities in Hockey Ultimate Team, especially with that buff to wheels that were received in the latest patch. Throw in the fact he's got 95 speed and excel, and this is low-key one of the nastiest cards that we've gotten, and all it's going to require is some time. That's right, as nothing in life is truly free, you will have to complete three sets of moments to get the collectibles required to turn into the 89 Martin Natchez. Full disclosure, this took me just under an hour. The first one is fairly simple with getting an assist with Natchez, shoulder checks, and score any goals with any player on pro. The second one might cause some trouble simply because scoring a goal with Zadina, he is a very low-rated card. But again, remember, if you have a two-goal lead or less, in the final minute, they will pull their goaltender, making it very easy to get an empty net goal to finish off what you need. It's that final one that is going to hang up a lot of people simply because it is on superstar bear reminiscent of the Claude Giroux moments and having you score bottom right corner goals with Martin H's on Superstar will be challenging for some people. Some best practices to complete these moments in a quick manner, guys. Number one would be to use the full pressure meter, especially in that first moment on pro difficulty. The AI will not be as aggressive. And once you get full pressure, they basically are stuck in mud, allowing you to take some shots that you need to with the players required. The next one would be to aim low, far side, off of the rush. This has been the case for essentially all of NHL 24. Whether you need to score a goal with Natchez or with one of his teammates, left or right side, it really doesn't matter. Next, remember that you don't have to complete all three in one go. If you are able to before time expires, you will get prompted and you can leave early, which is great. However, remember that if you need assists with Natchez as well as goals with Zadina, focus on one each time you are doing a moment. Don't get trapped and locked into doing all of them in one go. Once you have completed the assist for Natchez, finish out the game. If you do not complete all three challenges and you quit out early, even if you have completed one, it will reset, so make sure that you complete the game. You will get the star for it, load back in and try again, but this time knowing that you don't have to do the assists, you can simply focus on the other objectives. Now to complete the bottom right goals, there's a few ways to do it. Number one, this is simply straight line diagonally, whether it be left or right to get into the offensive zone. Because Natchez has gold wheels, you'll be able to blow by the defenders pretty easily. And then once you're in, it's just a backhand forehand. So what you can do is just simply take the puck with Natchez, go all the way back into your zone, and then straight line, whether it be diagonally, right down the boards, however, and you'll get a breakaway. Get the puck back, all the way back into your zone, and then repeat this process. The other method would be, once you are in the offensive zone and you are cycling or you've got a four check and you get the puck with Natchez come in from the left side to the right and aim low far side remember this is going to be a little bit more difficult because on superstar moments is not like squad battles it is tuned to be extremely arcadey and that is why they throw you around everywhere if they get anywhere near you so it is going to be a little bit more difficult but this is still a completely viable way to score Natchez's goals now if you haven't made your holiday pack selection just yet because they released this Martin Natchez today I would 1000% take Seth Jones because in my opinion Martin Natchez is just a better version of Mika Zibanejad or Hosa whoever else you were going to select you can have a top end forward as well as one of the best right handed defensemen in the game regardless of the other right handed defensemen that you've got in hindsight had I known this Natchez was coming I would have just taken Seth Jones so for anyone that is still out there that has not done their holiday pack that would be my updated recommendation if you did take Mika Zibanejad it's not like that's going to be an issue this is just purely if you 
wanted to absolutely maximize value. Now, for anyone that simply cannot do the moments, there are sets that will allow you to get the Flashback Nations of Hockey collectibles. These will work just like all of the other event collectibles. So if you've got, let's say, an 85 overall, you can cash one in, get three Flashback collectibles. Obviously, this is going to eat into your resources, and I 1,000% do not recommend this. But if you're spending four hours trying to get this Martin Natchez, and you simply can't get it done, to be honest, this card is one of the better ones in the game. So it's not an awful option, but I still wouldn't recommend it. Now, we also got some other Nations of Hockey cards, starting with the 82 Essa Tikkanen from Finland. He's a left-handed winger with 85 speed and excel, as well as agility and shots, essentially 85 across the board. In my opinion, purely a trade-in card, unless you're trying to build a theme team. Next up is the 86 Brayton Shen, 6'1", 199. He's got two-way forward, as well as shooting boost and speed boost. So an interesting card to try and help you get speed boost activated on your team. And this is actually give him over 90 speed. Two-way forward is, again, one of the more difficult synergies to activate, because there's not a lot of top-end two-way forwards for your team. He's got 90 sh wrist shot accuracy and power, which is fine, as well as 85 face-offs. This is low-key like a usable card, like I said, to try and get speed boost activated. He's also got gold total eclipse, and I'm dying to try out a full line of total eclipse cards. Then we've got the 87 Marcus Naslin with sniper forward and shooting boost, as well as born leader and gold snipe. 91 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 99 wrist shot accuracy and power with sniper forward and shooting boost activated. Makes this card actually really interesting. Body checking is completely abysmal, but snipe with 99 wrist shot power and accuracy, you can't can't complain about. Then we've got the 89 Yarmir Yager, 6'3", 230, with sniper forward as well as playmaking boost and agile dangler boost. 93 speed, 92 excel, and 90 agility with 90 balance and endurance on Yarmir Yager is nasty. This is a big upgrade from his Gallery of Greats event card. His wrist shot is at 95 overall with sniper forward activate. His hand stats are all in the mid 90s. He's also got gold elite edges tape to tape at unstoppable force. Very, very good card. And finally, we've got the 89 Jeremy Roenick with sniper forward as well as shooting boost and checking boost 93 speed and excel 90 agility 90 balance and high 90 shooting on his slap shot and wrist shot hand stats are all above 90 body checking is 90 i'm not a big fan of jeremy roenick but his card is nasty he's got gold close quarters but truculence and unstoppable force is what i would probably activate on him making him an extremely good four checker now i do want to mention it because i saw these questions in the comments an awful lot with the world junior event on right now whatever country wins gold will get a plus three to their cards plus two for silver plus one for bronze but i got a lot of questions about the other cards that are not world junior cards like the master set player items these will not go up based on how their countries do neither will the holiday event pack where we got the set jones Juracek, eberly and koivu etc as well as these custom build flashback cards like nasland and shen as well as mark bell so i just wanted to clear up any confusion there so i hope this helps get you that 89 martin natchez in the quickest way possible. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.